Good evening to everyone. Um, thank you for attending and thank you for coming to the despedida of uh, Ambassador Jimenez of the Republic of Cuba. Before anything else, you would like to call on uh, Ms. Norma Viñas, the Secretary General of the Amistad, to give her, her opening remarks to our um, um, despedida this, um, tonight. Today is a happy occasion. Many of the friends and the people Ambassador Jorge Rey Jimenez and Madame Elba Gonzalez have met during their stay in the Philippines are here to listen to what they have to say about their stay and to wish them all the best in their future assignments and good wishes to their family. For Amistad and the Cuban Five, we take this occasion to express our sincere thanks to them as the true representatives of Cuba, a country which for many years stood up to the mighty power of the imperialist U.S. Cuba, in spite of their problems brought, up, brought about by the decades of U.S. blockade, has shown the world that a nation can excel in many ways in spite of it and the difficulties it brings. The ambassador always accommodates our request to speak in fora as long as he his time permits. He complains though that I gave him more work to do than the embassy. <laughs> he never tires explaining about issues. He usually follows through what is decided during the meetings. So be sure you do what you committed yourself doing during the meetings, because he will be there to follow you up. He helps in the, but he helps in the preparation for the activities which the embassy co-sponsors with the friendship groups. Let the mutual solidarity between the Filipinos and Cubans strengthen in the coming years. Mabuhay, viva compañero Jorge and compañera Elba. Long live international solidarity. Mira, mira, este es un clásico Que si tú no conoces, seguro tu papá conoce Mira, cosa con nosotros Cuba to forward thinking that the blockade would be finished. 
that is in the situation, bilateral situation of uh, this uh, uh, blockade, euphemistically called an embargo, that has made so for my country since near half a century. We just celebrated the 51 anniversary of the triumph of the Cuban Revolution last January 1st. I think that this this activity here, more than a despedida, is a celebration. It's a celebration of the more than half a century of the Cuban Revolution. I take it that way because it's a recognition of the labor of our people for our real independence after. Uh, more than 400 years of colonial Spanish domination and nearby half a century of U.S. domination in Cuba. I mean, there is, we are not satisfied, of course, the fighting is there, we have to follow fighting this. The Cuba fight are in, illegally also in detention in different U.S. jail, violating the human right of the, of the fight and of their family. That's why what Congressman Rufus is very important to be approved this uh, resolution in the, in the Congress to show as other uh, parliament in the world has made it, what is the position of the legislator in the Philippines regarding this delicate issue. Because it's a, pro it's a political problem. Like this inclusion of Cuba in this list of 14 so-called uh, supporters of terrorism is a political manipulation of the U.S. because they need an excuse to keep the blockade in force. 187 countries of the world support Cuba in the resolution condemning and calling for lifting the blockade. It's the whole planet Earth who support Cuba. What happened? This, also this day, according to the High Court of Justice in the US, the power of the US president are over the international uh, judici judicial uh, and legislation. That means that he can do whatever he can, even if it is against anybody and the law and the international relations. What kind of world we are working? To? What kind of world we world, world we will give to our shadow?